Our recent research in, as far as the LPS challenge and immune function of the pig has, has been uh, with uh, uh, two sources of uh, the trace elements. Uh, sulfate sources are the hydroxychlorides and then uh, at two different levels, uh, what we might call 50% of the NRC requirement and 100% of the NRC requirement. And so we, we feed those two sources and two concentrations to the pigs and then we uh, administer an LPS, LPS challenge to the pig and record the response uh, as far as the febrile response or the increase in temperature. Uh, and then we look at before and after the LPS challenge uh, cytokines in the blood as a measure of the immune, immune response. And what we've seen thus far is that uh, the hydro with the hydroxychlorides included in the diet, irrespective of level, we see a, a much smaller increase in cytokine production after the LPS challenge, suggesting that um, those hydroxychlorides are entering the bloodstream or, and are able to affect uh, that response. And more specific to the question was uh, the low level of the hydroxychlorides, the 50% level, uh, gave us the same response as the high level of the sulfates. So uh, a 50% level of the chlorides resulted in a similar response as the 100% level of the sulfates, which suggests that uh, the chlorides, the hydroxychlorides have greater bioavailability, they're entering the bloodstream, they are uh, affecting that immune response to a greater degree than the sulfates because of an increase in bioavailability. And so as we look beyond that, uh, with the health challenges the pig receives in the nursery or after weaning, and those health challenges decrease intake and uh, lead to the febrile response, uh, stress response, production of cytokines, uh, if we can have a, a greater bioavailability like the hydroxychlorides have shown, then when that feed intake is decreased, we're still getting more of those minerals into the bloodstream compared to the sulfates. So that would be a very important um, aspect of providing the hydroxychlorides in the diet and affecting that immune response.